guys, it's so sorry the last few days. It's been a bit chaos. Just had some issues. Internet issues, YouTube issues, just life in general. So, been a bit of a shit show, really. We're going to catch up, though. We're going to catch up. We've got three for the price of one. Not one, not two, but three. So, uh, we're going to get them all done now. We're going to smash them out in, in one fell swoop. So, I'm going to go and switch over to the phone again. Get them out of the box. And I'll be back with you guys in a moment. We're back. Simo is back. I'll tell you what. Like Airborne said, we're back in the game. We're kicking ass again. Get used to it. We've got three. Three for the price of one. So that light is way too bright. And it's blinding me. I'm blinded by the lights. Like the weekend. Right, so we've got two bottles in a can. I have no idea what these are. They were picked for me by my lovely mother. So we will find out oh no oh, oh no just when it was going so well Fichi Fisi Tuborg Fisi 100 malt 5% by volume it was all going so well we will get the second one undone the second one is oh no oh no it was going so well Ugh, what's this one lucky butter look at that it's a lucky butter 4.8 percent enlightened beer oh flipping heck <laughs> what's this one let's get this open this has got to be good truly i pray i pray What's this one? How do you get it open? <laughs> Glen Canic Brewery, an American red ale. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Let's get them tried. They can't be that bad, surely, he says. Famous last words. Right. This is a pull top. Feature. Looks like a grenade or something. By Chiborg. Take this into a glass. Not sponsored, they're just the only glasses that I had on hand. Perfect draft glasses. This stinks. It absolutely stinks. Right, so it's described as a multi lager. Legendary Turkish taste. 100% malt, so it's a malt lager. It stinks. It absolutely stinks. It smells like a wet fucking wet shoe or something. <coughs> it stinks. It absolutely stinks. There's a bit of something, a bit of maltiness there, but other than that, it's just I'm really not getting a lot from it. I really couldn't tell you this. It's, it's more like the inside of a wet shoe. Cheers. It doesn't taste much better. <coughs> Fuck, you know. That is not great. It just tastes rotten. It tastes like it's gone off. It tastes rotten. Oh, no, no way. I'm sorry, Fiji by Chuborg, but you can sit over there. They say nobody puts baby on the shelf, but I do. Right, number two. Lucky Butterbeer. Lucky. I have never ever had this before. I'm just trying to see something on the back. There's nothing. Pardon me. It says brewing a bottle in China. Do we have a bottle opener? Yes, we do. Let's get this bad boy open. Lucky butter. Oh, easy. It's overflowing a bit. 
I'm expecting this to be like a rice lager, very clean, very easy drinking, not a lot to it, just to sort of smash it down your neck. Kind of beer. I could be mistaken though. Lucky Buddha. Looks like a lager, very clear. Quite a lot of carbonation. Three finger white head. Let's have a whiff, shall we? A bit of lemon or something we're on there. And like rice. Yeah, rice lager. Definitely smells like. Smells like exactly what I thought, like a rice lager, very kind of just wet and sort of lagery. I know it's not really the description, but you know what I mean? Like, if you've had these cheap lagers for, you know exactly what I'm sort of describing. It's, there's no real aroma to them or anything. They probably taste all right. Cheers. Yeah, actually quite pleasant. In fact, it's not bad at all. It's um, I mean, compared to that, it couldn't taste any worse, could it? Exactly what I expected. No real flavour to it. A bit of a synthetic sort of maybe a bit of syrupiness or something. Um, not a lot of taste to it at all, to be honest with you. Very much just cold and wet, and that's it. There's really no taste at all. It's utterly tasteless. Very unusual, but it's a rice lager, cheap Chinese lager. <sighs> not much luck, I'll be here. Glen Canic Red Ale. This has got to be better, hasn't it, surely? Four and a half percent in American red ale. Deep amber in colour with a rich caramel malt and a delicate finish. Micro brewed in the UK with American hops. Water, barley, hops, yeast, allergens. Keep chill, drink fresh. What are we saying? Born in the USA. Take this bad boy open. The last time I had one, a beer from this company was one that Paul and Michelle stitched me up with a Christmas beer. It looks all right, this. Looks all right. What's the base here? There we go. Well, it's certainly a deep red amber colour. Really nice looking beer. Little bit of carbonation, not a lot going on. Sort of just off white head. Slightly tan almost. Let's have a whiff. Hmm. Malt, orange, bit of grapefruit maybe. Hmm. Very unusual. There's something else there. I've got a funny feeling I'm getting rid of her, you know, because my my nose is going a bit shut out. Uh oh, marmalade, marmalade is what I'm getting. Marmalade, like a bitter marmalade. Mmm, smells really nice actually. Cheers. Is it stuck in? That's a shame. The body's the body's very thin. A very thin body. It's only four and a half percent. There's just not a lot of taste. There's a very subtle marmalade taste with a bit of a bitterness. If that was a bit stronger, I think it'd be really nice actually. With like a marmalade. Marmalade on toast with a slight bitterness there. It's not bad, but it's just not great. 
Which is a shame, really, because it had potential. Glen Canick Brewery, American Red Ale. Yeah, very just nonchalant. Nothing about it, really. Well, that's a bit disappointing. We had such a strong start, and it's got a bit downhill. Things can only get better. Positive thinking. She tried. She got off to a good start. She's tried. Right? She's trying. It's still better than Brewdog and Tiny Rebel. So, thank you for joining me, guys. It's been a bit of a waffle video, this one. I appreciate you. Look after yourselves, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!